This is the At Home with Zach. And TT for the Mill Drive Home reporting on the game that just finished at the Den. Mill nil? Watford nil. Nil nil draw. Not very entertaining to watch, but a hard fought and well earned point from the Lions. Watford slightly the better team on, let's face it, an awful pitch to play football on. Both teams um, probably played it more in the air than they would normally, more direct than they would normally because it's such a tough pitch to play football on. But some positives for me, I, I know that's another that's another game where we haven't won at home. We haven't won at home since October. So that doesn't bode well going for the future. But, you know, Watford are flying high. They're second in the championship. They do score goals. Um, they've got quality players around the pitch. You know, they're a... Zach said it a few times. They're a decent Premierships, you know, football team. They've got yeah. some absolute... They've got some quality players. You know, Last year, they broke Liverpool's unbeaten streak as well. They did. You know, they've still got players like Deeney and Chalabar and Hughes. And obviously, the, uh, the the pace of Saar that we didn't really see today because obviously we sat, sat deeper. Um, it's good for me, you know, the, the coach of uh, another under, under 10s football team is a Watford fan. So... Uh, Big Nice doesn't get get one over me on uh, today, which is which is a bonus. But um, I'm I'm pleased with the point, and there's you can see there's building blocks for the future. If you don't mind, you're watching the video, please put a like in there because um, we really appreciate that, and obviously put your comments down below. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. I think we probably could do that by the end of the season. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe, please. So we started off with um, a changed lineup, and I preferred the formation. You know. We, we packed the middle a little bit more, even though I felt we could have done more, and I'll go on to that in a minute. But obviously, we start with Barton goal. The back three of Cooper, Hutchinson, and again, uh, Ryan Leonard as the third centre-back. Uh, Danny McNamara, right wing-back. Scott Malone as left wing-back in front of them, making his home debut or making his debut for the Lions. Mr. Kefton Belt, welcome to the club, actually. Really good signing. I'm really happy about him. You know, captain of Birmingham City, you know, a no-nonsense player. We, I think he's going to be a fantastic addition, and I think he showed exactly what he done uh, is going to do for us today. Um, partnering him in the centre, you know, kind of central midfield position was Ryan Woods. We then had uh, Ben Thompson in front of them, just behind the front two, although it was interchangeable of Ken Zahor and Jed Wallace. Uh, like I said, positives today that straight away come out to me. I thought Jed Wallace was so lively today. I thought that Kefton Beld and Woods worked well together as that holding kind of midfield. That, you know, Kefton Beld winning the ball back. Woods dictating play and he'd done that really well today. What he didn't have, which is what I felt, um, there was so much space between the mid... Because of the press of Watford was so high, there was so much space in behind that press... And you just want Tomo to fill that. And he didn't. He kept drifting wide. I don't know whether he was told to drift wide. But it meant that too many occasions we had to go back as we normally do. and Or then play down the channels for Jed. Which worked a few times. And to be fair, Kenza Hall put a, put a shift into that. And I thought it was one of his best performances as a as a mule player. But Tomo needed to fill that hole. And he, and he just didn't. And even when he did, he didn't have the quality. I thought, uh, unfortunately, I think that's two or three games in a row now. Where Tomo's showed that he's slightly off the pace. And he needs to kick on if he wants to stay in the team. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I just think, one, he, he has slippers on. He always falls down, which Kefton Belt uh, done a bit today. But we're talking about Tomo. I just I just think he's off form. Normal Tomo would be really good in, in yeah. that, um, well, cam spot. But today, he just and last three games, he's just not showed that he, that he has the ability that he does have. Before we go any further, I thought the ref was woeful today. Absolutely. Matt Hancock look-alike. You know, a couple of times a Watford players go to, uh, should have been sent off. I know Kefton Bell does a big challenge on Chalobah, but he is going for the ball. He's just slightly late. Um, Chalobah's fine. You know, he takes an age to get up and get ready, but he's running around 20 seconds later. So it obviously wasn't as bad as he made it out. Um, but half decisions all across the pitch were going against us, you know. And, and it started from the ninth minute, you know. Saar has absolutely left his shoulder in on 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 Bartosz Biliakowski, bangs him in, bangs bangs him into him into his head. Uh, you know, fortunately Bart's not um, injured with it. But you just think, obviously they've been told, you know, it's Millwall. You need to be physical. You need to get around. And I felt that they were, and I don't mind it. But it, you know, if there are bookings like that, 
it's got to be done. And, and they just weren't picking up bookings. So kicking the ball away in the second half right near the end, which could have could have made a difference. You know, um, Chalaba goes through the back of someone and, and leaves his shul uh, shoulder in on um, Hutchinson. It's not. It's, it should be in a second book and it wasn't given. You know, 14th minute, Hutch makes a dreadful pass. But for, uh, fortunately for us, you know, Andre Gray, you know, he came to the den about six years ago with Brentford, pushed the ref funny enough, should have got sent off that day, he didn't, scored the winner. I thought he was a much better player than what he showed today. He's, he's massively dropped off in terms of the quality that he used to provide. You know, the key moments fell to him, fortunately for us. And, you know, he's hit one into the side net and he's hit one over the bar from, from a ball across the box. He's just, you know, like I said, the chances fell to him today, which on another day they fall to Dini, he probably takes them. Um, but what did you think of Andre Gray? Just, they're two strikers, both of them. Um, they didn't do enough today because they both had a few chances, but just they didn't do enough because they should have scored maybe three times and they just messed it up. And I thought genuinely they they are two good strikers that that are Premier League material, but they just didn't show that today. I thought Scott Malone, you know, thinking back early in the first half, Scott Malone, as soon as he got on the ball, was our main driving force, you know, as our main attacker for a long period of time. Obviously, Scott Malone on the left back, you know, Danny McNamara, uh, Danny McNamara a lot today held his position, which was good. You know, he didn't make any mistakes. He, other than one, they gave a corner, which I felt like he'd kicked it. But, you know, even around the house, I might have lost that battle. But um, apparently I'm biased. I am biased. Um, but far too often, you know, we 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 attacked with Malone down the left and, and Jed down the right. And I thought Jed was, was like I said, excellent running through. He had a shot that um, deflected uh, deflected wide, but we, we was just we were coming into the game at that, you know, towards the the, the first the, the end part of the first half, we were gradually going um, growing in um, in confidence. And obviously, then there's a ball uh, crossed into the box. Cooper gets his head on the uh, so it's a great delivery by Ryan Woods to the back post. No way Cooper should get anywhere near the goal, but he absolutely powers the header, comes off the inside of the post, just misses Ben Thompson. If the ball gets called uh, clear for a corner. Um, from the resulting corner, the ball comes out again from a free kick. The ball's played into the box. It's a gr it's a cracking ball again. Um, Cooper gets his head on it. I, I think it was Jed that played it with the you know the outside of his um, right foot, curls it to Cooper at the back post, and he absolutely powers the ball. It's hard to see in every replay I see. There was not, nothing definitive that said he was offside. Nothing definitive at all. But you can understand why. Um, the, linesman. the linesman's given it because, but you can't. Yeah. But, but there's nothing we could say one way or the other which um, could have done it. Obviously, we hit the post at one end just before that. Watford had hit the post with a ball also to the back post. You know, it came come flicked off a hutch, and then Cooper hit the inside of the outside of the post, and then I think it was tried to come back in, and fortunately we cleared it. But not too, like I said, not too many chances. We go into the second half, and I. Just so few chances from either team in the second half. Obviously, we were defending deep. We were anything that comes into the box, we were dealing with uh, really well. Like I said, Gray had a shot into the side netting, and, and also Malone had a shot wide, but it wasn't much of a shot. Um, other than that, I, I really can't remember too much that happened in front of, of either goal. And Ch Ch Chalabar had a shot from, from far out that, that was well saved by Bart, but you know he's punched it up into the air and Deeney's had a kind of a half overhead kick, which was easily saved by Bart. But if you think that Watford, who normally create a, quite a few chances, just 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 really didn't. Like, and like I said, that the big decisions in the match just don't seem to go our way uh, uh, too often. And a, a booking, you know, Hughes has got to be booked. He could have got two bookings. Chalaba could have got two bookings and they just don't. And that, that makes the difference. But moving forward, we've now got Cardiff on Saturday and after picking up a point, a hard earned point, and I, I know that people are going to watch, you know, everyone's entitled to their view and everyone's entitled to criticise and, 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 and dig out the manager and the players. But I, I, I personally don't know what, what more you're expecting from this group of players. I don't know, you know, they are fighting for the club, they're fighting for the badge. Yes, we lack quality. Yes, we lack the precision in the final third and, and we don't quite get the ball to that, that situation. But they're, they're, they're battling hard and they defensively, we look such a unit on, on most occasions. And I, I just don't see the, 
benefit of really going into, it's not fundamentally wrong at the club at the moment. You know, this is not a, you know, people have compared it to Holloway or Lomas. We are not in that situation. This The, the players are playing for the shirt. Just ultimately, we need to improve. Like we have now done with Kefton Bell in the centre. A couple more signings. Conor Mahoney coming back. Billy Mitchell's coming back. And I think that we've, we're have we going to have enough to push up to the middle part of the table, which is, given what's happened with COVID this year, given the, the budget that we've got, is a, is a decent performance. What, what's your thoughts about it? I, th- I think getting Kefton Bell for zero pounds was crazy because... His determination to to try and win the ball no matter what is is crazy. He 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 will play for any badge that he that he that he gets to start for and play for. But I just think that Gary Rowett maybe maybe there's a debate that he could go. But I would say right now keep Gary Rowett. I think we're playing well and just see how the rest of the season goes, and then we'll decide from there. But I think we're playing. I think we're playing very well to get get a nil nil draw out of Watford when they score in so many goals. Defensively, we, most of the time we look solid. Yes, we are not creating enough attacking wise, but I think if we get that right, if we get Kefton Bell and Woods in that centre of the park, and they have some forward movement, that's where we need to get better. If we can get that, there's every chance we move up the table, we, we stay up comfortably, and that's what we need to move forward. Sun, Saturday's big. The, the Cardiff out of form, but they've obviously just sacked Neil Harris. I don't think we should sack the manager at the moment. Obviously, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but we go again on Saturday. Thank you very much for watching. Only one way we can finish. No one likes us. We don't care.